right, we're going to go out to Rich Bonaducci, who's hanging out with Giuseppe, Giuseppe Verdi this morning. What's going on, Rich? What's going on is I'm at the Lyrical Opera Theater at the ICW Cultural Event in Salt Lake City, and we're going to talk to the man himself. Well, tell the folks at home who you are and what you're doing here, Dan. Hi, my name is Daniel Tutau. I am the uh, I am the main character of Regoletto, our production of Regoletto. It's a Giuseppe Verdi, an Italian opera. So we're we're going to be staging it here this week. Uh, we have it uh, next uh, this Saturday. We open. We're on the 25th, 27th, 29th, and then August 1st. And uh, we're excited to be able to actually perform and do some actual <laughs> singing for once. Uh, everything's been shut down for months, and so we're excited to have the opportunity to be here. Uh, we're uh, doing a lot of social distancing stuff, as well as the fact that we're going to be live streaming the first and the last show on the Saturdays on Facebook Live on our uh, on our group's page. And so do you have the the diaphragm control to project through your mask? I really quite do. I can. <laughs> we all have actually been rehearsing with masks on. For the performance, we're actually turning the tides. We're actually asking the audience to have masks, and so we're going to. Uh, be able to be free for at least two and a half hours of singing. Um, as you can see, the masks don't always want to stay on our faces while we're moving our mouths. Um, but we've had some social distance staging, and so we're trying not to ever talk face to face like we are here. And uh, we're excited to be able to uh, to have that opportunity to actually perform. Well, let's hear a little bit of it. Let's go. some noise pretty much wherever he goes and today it's no different they've got some booming voices at the opera hey rich uh before i made noise in front of the camera i was behind the camera for a long time doing stage screw stuff and i know that's where it really happens because without guys like anthony here nobody gets heard nothing happens we're going to chat with anthony laguardia about the icw cultural etc itself and this production so anthony what would be uh, what's your title i guess so i'm actually the president of the icw nonprofit. and as far as the event center concern is concerned i'm the manager or the uh, you know events coordinator so tell us a little bit about the nonprofit and the show you're running so the ICW uh, has been around, man, since uh, 2003. And so we started the Italian Festival in Salt Lake City. Uh, we've been devoted to sort of documenting, capturing lost histories and culture of local families and, and, and different cultural groups that have come into Utah. So over time then, we actually built a cafe storefront that enabled us to build the venue here so we can actually have uh, lectures on history, presentations of the different arts and culture and such. So we've really been pushing into seeing the event center here now move into the production side. Granted, things have kind of gone more virtual and whatnot, but um, you know, we'll start having some uh, free language lessons. We've got an Italian teacher, we've got a historian that uh, goes to the Vatican and, and deals with uh, non-public records there, and all sorts of incredible people that are part of just bringing culture, history, education, and celebrating these things and, and bringing it to the public, you know, for free as much as possible. And some events are fundraisers, you know, and, and whatnot. So uh, we, we do everything from just education to arts and culture, uh, even you know, some things dealing with religion and everything that's, that's just a historical cultural aspect of our humanity is, is our playground. To and here I thought you were just a lighting guy. You, you run it all. And if I could step back for a second, are you saying that the cafe funded all this at first? So the, the Italian food brought them in and then funded it all? 
That's correct. So, so myself and one more full-time volunteer for two years, we were selling a, a donation, right? For minimum suggested donation, we were making food to the public here to build this. Excellent. So when does the show start again? This weekend? Yes. Yeah, okay. So get on that to the Lyrical Opera Theater out in Salt Lake City at the ICW Cultural Events Center this weekend. Wow, that's some forethought for him. You know, good for him. Yeah. Kind of his baby there. Another option for the yeah. 24th holiday coming up. <laughs> yeah, very impressive. And a little bit of culture for you. Rigoletto at the Lyrical Opera Theater. Live from Fox 13 Studios, this is Fox 13. Hey guys, guess what day it is? It's Wednesday. All right, we're going to go out to Rich Bonaducci. He is in for Buddha this week, and he is introducing us to some opera. Meet Rigoletto. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Thank you for doing that because I can't roll my R's very well. We're also going to introduce you to some of the cast. This is Jesse Tuftum and, and uh, actually, where, where are you from, Jesse? I was born in New Jersey, but I spent most of my life here in Utah. So how did you get out here? What brought you out here, I guess? Ah, uh, my mom moved out here and I came with her. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta go when they go too. Okay, so how did you get into opera? Because it seems like for me, I, I'm like, uh, well, I know how I got into certain music because I heard it on the radio or something. How do you find out that you can sing opera? I mean, I, I started singing uh, around junior high school, later on went to college for music, and while I was going to school for studying music composition, I learned that I liked opera, so here I am. And you don't have to carry around an instrument, I guess, either, so that's not. Yeah, it's a lot nicer than carrying a tenor sax everywhere. <laughs> Okay, so tell us a bit about this song you're going to do for us. It's an aria. Tell us about it in reference to the actual play. Yeah, it's an aria, which means air. That's where it comes from. Um, it's sung by the Duke, my character, and uh, essentially he's saying that women are fickle. He's kind of a not-so-great character, uh, honestly. <laughs> uh, he's really promiscuous, and he doesn't really think of women as people, so <laughs> there's that. Well... Let's, let's hear what he has to say. <laughs> Basic. Okay, so we're going to be counting to six. 
over and over and over again, all right? <laughs> and there are four steps. We're gonna start on the right foot with a rise. So I'm gonna step with my heel off the ground on the right foot for count one. Then I'm gonna bend the knee for two. Then I'm gonna step on the left on a rise for count three. Then I'm gonna step on the right for count four. I'll step on the left for count five and then I'll bend for count six. So that was four steps over six counts. Okay, so. well I know what they say, show don't tell, you've told, let's show them. Yeah. Lyrical Opera Theater, ICW Cultural Event Center. You know, because facial expression is one less thing you have to worry about when you're performing. Just watch their feet. Yeah. <laughs> that way no one can see you counting. <laughs> Rigoletto at the local opera house with bass guitar. Rigoletto, let me go. All right, we're going to go out to Rich Bonaducci, who's got Giuseppe Verdi with uh, an electric bass guitar, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I had the bass guitar back there. I couldn't not put it on and act like I know what I'm doing because I can't play. <laughs> but anyway, we are here with Lynette Owens, and she is the executive director of this lovely place here, the ICW, well, not actually the, the event center. Yeah. And you're, you're putting on Rigoletto, but you're also doing it safely, right? Let's talk about exactly. it. Exactly. That's been one of our primary things that we've been uh, working on throughout this whole uh, several months now. Um, we are actually keeping our audience 10 feet back back from the singers and all time, in fact, even farther uh, back from our singers and 10 feet away. We're social distancing all of our singers at all times on stage, six feet uh, apart. We're taking temperature checks of all of our singers and we're going through, you know, do you have a cough? Do you have muscle soreness? Do you have shortness of breath? And they have to sign on that every day. We're actually um, sanitizing all of our props with Lysol and we've labeled our props so singers only use their prop so we're not spreading germs. We have all the COVID signage. All of our patrons will be asked to wear masks. Our singers are wearing masks at all times when they're backstage. Um, we're keeping everybody, again, six feet apart in the audience itself. We also have this lovely touchless sanitizer that will be located at all entrances and exits and also in the dressing rooms. And we took the time also to create Lyrical Opera Theater masks for those patrons that come without a mask. And in addition, we took our time to um, create a safety precaution video um, that would be playing as our, our patrons come in. Mm -hmm. Talking about masks, reminding everybody about social distancing, and then we did even a f further step where we, um, all of our, our uh, singers that are um, at high risk, we green screen them and we integrated them into our projection scenery so they can actually participate virtually with Lyrical Opera Theater. For example, this is um, Monterone is Nelson Leduc. Um, there you go. So we have a lot of singers integrated in this way too, so we can include everybody at our opera company. And speaking of inclusion, if people want to come out and see it, how do they do that? We have a website, lyricaloperatheater.com, and tickets, we have a tickets tab right on it. Um, they just click on however many tickets they want. We ask them afterwards, how would you like to be seated? Is everyone who you bought tickets for seated in a household? So that we talk to our patrons individually and make sure we're taking care of their needs. There you go. So come on out to the Lyrical Opera House at the ICW Cultural Event Center and bring a mask because if not, be prepared to buy one of those really cool ones right over there and they're going to be totally safe and give you a wonderful show. Okay. Great costumes, too. Thank you. Those would be yeah, awesome. Yeah, wonderful like costumes, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. That's true. You bet. Lots yeah. of talent. Makes you thankful for the AC, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, we've got another performance we want you to check out. Rich Bonaducci showing us and telling us all about it. It's really good. 
here here at the ICW Cultural Event Center, and we are with Lynette Owens, and she is the executive director of what, Lynette? Lyrical Opera Theater. We're a small community-based opera company right here in the Salt Lake uh, Valley. We use local artists to fill all of our great operatic roles because we have such fine Utah artists. And we're performing a full version of uh, Rigoletto on July 25th, this coming Saturday at 7 p.m., Monday night, the 29th at 7 p.m., and uh, Wednesday night, July 29th, and also August 1st at 7 p.m. All of them are here at this lovely um, ICW Cultural Event Center. And this has been a long time coming, not only because you were planning on it, because of COVID kept pushing it off, right. and now you're actually going to get to do it, but of course you're keeping COVID in mind. Tell the folks at home how they can see it and be safe. Um, absolutely. We're actually doing social distancing at our opera. We have our, um, we'll be seating people in households. Um, we'll be using all the sanitization efforts and we're doing some really cool things in addition to that, um, such as uh, we've green screened several of our artists, so they're going to be in our projections. So the folks who are a little bit more sensitive, who actually couldn't be here to sing, or have, have actually done their part in front of a green screen, and you're actually going to put them in right behind them? Yes, we've, we're giving everybody an opportunity like that. I think that's awesome. So let's tell us a little bit about the song you're going to do, and let's get to it. Well, this is the famous Vendetta chorus from Rigoletto, and it's this vendetta that sort of pushes the action forward. It's a vendetta that goes awry. <laughs> <laughs> 